In today's video, we're going to go through all these boxes and all of these boxes full of Funko Pops if we can. And we're going to open up this giant fun box from Japan. Hello, my YouTube friend. We're back in the office. I've been moving a lot of stuff around since the last video. Let me kind of give you an update of what I've done and what we need to do. Okay, up here, you can see one of my big paintings hiding behind there. I moved a ton of the comic boxes that I had up here so that I can move Funko Pop boxes up into this space. I also, for the most part, cleared out one little area so I can put one tower of Funko Pops right there. And I've kind of been moving boxes on top of the comic boxes here, but it's getting a little bit cluttered. So I think today we're just going to dig through a ton of boxes. I have like six or so columns of Funko Pops still here. Uh, I have room for three columns. Hoping that I can pull out enough things that I want to get rid of to get rid of three columns. Then I'll have enough room for everything. Although, let me go back here. Let me just show you. So I set up a bunch of these boxes. I still want to go another like two or three boxes deep that way once we get through these boxes. But if you can see, all this space is kind of empty right here. So I actually, I could fit, I think three boxes for every two so three so another column will actually fit back here so i just temporarily have these in the front here basically what i have is i have it three comic boxes high i have this kind of like shelf that i'm trying to make right here and then i have the drawer boxes behind it i'm gonna put two boards i'm gonna put a board right here and then a board on the back to kind of make a comic hall table basically so i want to get this all cleared out so what we need to do is go through all these boxes and get them over to the side where I had the comic boxes put. And also up on top here. Just like anything I'm keeping, I'm going to put that away. But hopefully we can pull out a lot to sell today. So let's get right to it. We're going to start going down this row. We're going to start with that box that says, uh, Hikari, Hello Neighbor, Black Hole, Magic the Gathering, Do It Yourself. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be able to get rid of maybe a third. All right, let's dig in the box and see. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, well, no, I see some stuff I can get rid of, but I see some amazing stuff too. So, Target Lady, I'm gonna get rid of that. The do it yourself pop mail, I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, but these black hole robots, these are freaking amazing. We have Vincent 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive Toy Tokyo exclusive sticker, that's a keeper, and uh, Maximilian, both of those are amazing. Absolutely love those. Uh, Nissa Ravine. Magic the Gathering pop. That's a keeper. Love Magic the Gathering. Um, the Neighbor with Axe and Rope. This one looks a little dirty. I need to clean that up. But that's a keeper. Uh, so it might only be these two I'm getting rid of. Uh, the Neighbor with Milk and Cookies is a keeper. Another cool Magic the Gathering. We've got Elizabeth Tyrell. That is awesome. I love those. And then it looks like we have a bunch of Hikari, which I absolutely love. We have uh, Limited to 700 Gigantor, the really awesome red, white, and blue, like translucent ice pop kind of look. Love that one. That one's amazing. We have uh, the Red Glitter Hulk. That one's amazing. I do absolutely love these Hikari. I really should look to see what I need and just complete the set. Um, we got Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can't imagine that I need that many. Maybe 50, maybe 20, something like that. i move these to the side. Uh, what is this one? We have, ooh, a really cool red metallic Iron Man. That one is freaking dope. Love that one. We have, uh, the Black Stormtrooper, like a Death Trooper. Oops. Uh, that one looks really cool. Love that one. We have a regular Boba Fett. This one is plastics kind of beat up. But you know what? I think I bought this from a, another person. Like just from someone's collection. And I got it really cheap. Super cool. Would be nice to upgrade the box though. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the... Uh, was it the Legion of Collectors statue you got after subscribing for one year, the first year? The Batman statue? That is really cool. But you know what? I can sell that. Okay, and then we have, uh, let's see. Just regular C-3PO. Love that one. That one is awesome. 
And we have the, I guess, kind of like white and gray Optimus Prime. I don't know if I like that colorway as much, but it's still pretty cool. All right, really cool Hikaris. Let's get another box. This box looks like a whole hodgepodge of stuff, uh, but I'm seeing a few things I probably can get rid of. But a lot of things I want to, so. <laughs> All right, so let's dig in. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. All right, hopefully there's some stuff I can get rid of, but. Uh, okay, we have uh, Robert Trejo from Metallica. That can go. From Step Brothers, we have Dale Dobek. I think I can let go of that one. Uh, ooh, the uh, Sir Bedivere from Monty Python. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Okay. Okay, I think we're getting like 50-50. Uh, Freddy Funko Limited to 5,000 pieces. I don't love this one. It is rare, but I think I can sell that one. Uh, but King Arthur from Monty Python. That's a keeper. I love the Monty Python set. Olivia Moore from iZombie. That's a keeper. Uh, John Oliver last week tonight. Uh, I think I can get rid of that one. Uh, oh, Dr. Ian Malcolm. I do kind of like this one. I like all the pops where they're like kind of laying on the ground. So I'm going to keep that one. I have been selling my Jurassic Park ones, but that one I want to keep. A uh, Brennan Huff, I think I'm selling these. I'm going to double check because these might be expensive. Like, if they're 30, 40, I'll sell them, but if they're over 50, I'll probably keep them. Uh, ooh, Joey Ramone. What year is this? 2017. Uh, uh, I think I can sell that one, but again, if the price is really high, I might end up keeping it just because um, the higher the price means, it's probably a little bit harder to get. Okay, let me clear some of these. Uh, Kirk Hammett can go. Metallica ones are cool, but they they can go. Uh, Hillary Clinton can go. Oh, I do like the Yankees one, but I think uh, Giancarlo Stanton can go. Uh, Bernie Sanders is a keeper for me. A revealed Conan can go. Uh, oh. More Monty Python. Absolutely love these ones. The Black Knight Flesh Wound version. That one's amazing. That's a keeper. Uh, the Black Knight. That's a keeper. Uh, Tobias Funk. I th ah, 2014. Uh, box is a little dirty. Uh, I think this can go. But again, if the price is really high, I might end up keeping that one. Uh, oh, Newman. Or Dennis Nidri. <laughs> I just call him new one from Seinfeld. I think I'm going to keep that one. I love this guy. All right, let me clear these. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Freddy Funko limited to 5,000 pieces. I think I can get rid of that one too. The kind of generic Freddy Funkos I'm willing to get rid of. Uh, James Hatfield, that is super cool, but that can go. Uh, Metallica, I have to double check though. It might be an expensive set. I might keep it. Uh, Anderson Silva can go. I don't really collect. Uh, sports like i have sports ones because i want to get the record uh, conor mcgregor can go that was pretty cool but that can go uh those might have some value though but you know i'm gonna still let them go uh william wallace is a definite keeper love that one and uh conan the barbarian's a keeper There's a couple keepers okay a few more on this side we got a uh John Cena can go. That one might have some value, actually. That's an older one, I think. 2016, so a little bit of a later reprint. Uh, Ronda Rousey can go. Oh, I do like that one, but that one can go. Uh, ooh, Aaron Judge. Uh, I'm torn on this one. I think I can let him go. I'm going to let him go. Someone actually asked me if I had that one. I think I'm going to let him go. And then we have uh, Red Sonia, which is super dope. Keeping that one. Love that one. That felt like a really productive box. I'm selling 19 out of 30, so more than half. Okay. I mean, there might be a couple I might hold back once I see the value is a lot higher than I thought. But still, very productive box. All right. This box just said F5 on it. So it could be just a whole mix of stuff. I have no idea what's inside. Let's see. Uh, oof. first impressions, definitely some keepers. 
But uh, definitely some stuff I can get rid of, too. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a um, Flocked Energizer Bunny. I think I'm going to keep that one because that one's just awesome. Uh, the pets, definitely keeping this one. Lab uh, was it Labrador Retriever? That's a keeper. The pets ones are pretty rare, actually. I'm surprised they didn't make more of those. Uh, we got uh, the Flocked Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. That one's actually pretty dope. That's a keeper. Uh, good luck bear. I'm going to keep that one. I'm keeping the shamrock bears. Oh, Pee Wee Herman. That's a keeper. <laughs> I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I've been selling my Green Hornet ones, but this is Bruce Lee. Uh, I think I'm going to sell that one. That one I think I can get later on. Uh, oh, this is a box for Cthulhu. I'm not sure why I have just the box for that. I don't think my son had a Cthulhu. Um... Cupcake from Five Nights at Freddy's is a keeper. Uh, Agent Daisy Johnson. I think I'm keeping that one. I think that's like a $50 plus. Uh, Flock Energizer Bunny. All right, let me clear these. I got to figure out what's up with this Flock Energizer Bunny. Okay, I think it's just a, a sticker variant. That's weird. Or I'm going to keep both. Just I like having sticker variants. We have the, ooh, the Dino box of fun. I love this one. I love translucent blue pops. They're some of my favorite. Uh, Chet, I'm going to keep. I know early on last year I started selling off some of these Funko ones. Uh, I just really like them. I kind of regret. I don't know if they actually sell them. I might even still have them in the shop. <laughs> uh, the Ganap Smurf, that's a keeper. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of keepers in here. Uh, Hank Schrader from Breaking Bad, that's a definite keeper. We have a uh, box lunch Eve from Earth Day exclusive. That's a keeper. Okay, this box is turning out to be a lot of keepers. Oh, uh, Legolas, the uh, UOB exclusive. So that's like an international version. That's a keeper. That's a rare one. Looks like I broke the protector. Uh, the original Eve was a 2014 Japanese release version. That's a keeper. Uh, Nightmare Bonnie. That's a keeper. Okay, let me clear these. I was going to say, was this a box I had already gone through last year? But then I see stuff like this, the Drunk Uncle. I know I can get rid of that. So that's one I would have gotten rid of last year. So no, I just ended up being a lot more that I want to um, get rid of. Uh, the Radiant 8-Bit Chase. I think I get rid of that one. Uh, Altered Beast, I'll get rid of. Uh, Felix the Cat, I want to keep. That one's really cool. Uh, the Iron Giant, this is the Ready Player One version. That's a keeper. The... Uh, Taurus, uh, you know, I've already sold the couple. I think I can get rid of that one, even though uh, I think I might regret that a little bit. Um, Sado Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! That one can go. The uh, Snuggle Tooth from Wetmore Forest is a keeper. Uh, Lone Ranger, the Best Buy exclusive, that's a keeper. Ooh, Edgar Allan Poe, I'm gonna keep that one. That one's just really cool. Uh, FYE Alien for Independence Day, that can go. And uh, Oh, the gold Power Ranger. This was like the chase from the Black Friday box. I think I'm going to keep that one. Ooh, that was a kind of a tough box. Yeah, this box, I'm only getting rid of seven. That was pretty tough. And even out of those seven, like this one, this one, this one, kind of want to keep. I'm going to let them go, but yeah, that was a tough box. All right, let's grab another one. This box, Cuphead, Monster High, Dota 2, Full Metal Alchemist. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything from this box, but for the fun of it, let's go through it. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping all of this. We got Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. That one's dope. We got Edward Elric. That's a keeper. These are all a keeper. Uh, Skeleta, that's a keeper. Frankie Stein's a keeper. I do like the Monster High ones a ton. Uh, Juggernaut from Dota 2 is a keeper. Uh, Evil Cuphead's a keeper. Legendary Chalice is a keeper. Uh, Claudine Wolf's a keeper. King Dice is a keeper. Mugman's a keeper. Uh, yep, everything in here is a keeper. Uh, Winry Rockbell. Okay, let me just move these to the side temporarily. Okay, we have... Uh, oh, Alphonse Eric, that one's awesome. That's a keeper. Love the way that one looks. Um, we got Pudge from Dota 2. That one's heavy. That's a keeper. That's one that probably costs... Oh, and this one too. Also heavy. Earthshaker. 
GameStop exclusive Dota 2. Those ones are heavy. Those are over a pound. Uh, Cuphead's a keeper. Love the Cuphead. You know, I really, really do love the Cuphead ones. Cuphead, that's a keeper. Um, Draculaura is a keeper. She's super cute. Uh, Laguna Blue is a keeper. Mr. Chimes is a keeper. Uh, Miss Chalice is a keeper. Uh, oh, this is one of my all-time favorite pops. Alphonse Eric with Kittens. This one is adorable. He's holding the two cats. He's got a little... I guess that's the second pop on the side. That's an amazing one. Love that one. Uh, Alex Armstrong, another keeper. All right, let me clear these down. Okay, we have King Dice. That's a keeper. Um, Kala Maria. That's a keeper. Love that one. The Devil's a keeper. Uh, King Dice, the golden E3 exclusive. That's a keeper. Um, Walmart's Who's the Cuphead? That's a keeper. Uh, Cleo Denial's a keeper. Really love that one. I really like the Monster High set. I kind of wish they did more Monster High pops. Okay, we have... Uh, Sally Stage Play. Fun Double Pop. That's a keeper. Uh, Phantom Assassin from Dota 2. Absolutely love this one. Again, it's got awesome blue coloring. Uh, just, I like blue pops in general. I'm kind of a sucker. And uh, Spirit Breaker from Dota 2. Another really heavy pop. That box is super awesome. I mean, I'm not shocked that I'm keeping it at all. Okay, on to the next box. All right, this one just says RC8. So I think it's just another mixed box. I, uh, I really don't know. Uh, hmm. Off the top of my head, I do see some keepers. And it's like some stuff I know I can sell. The marble stuff, I'm probably willing to part with most of it. Captain America, where he's sitting on the chair. That one can go. That one has a little bit of value, I think. But definitely the Ice King's a keeper. Absolutely love Adventure Time. Uh, ooh, My Hero. All for one. Fugitive Toys exclusive. That's a keeper. SpongeBob is going to be a keeper. The Pride SpongeBob. That's a keeper. The um, World of Warcraft. The really fun metallic version of Lady Sylvanas. That one's awesome. I love that one. That's a keeper. Uh, Mr. Fantastic can go. I think that one has a little bit of value. Uh, Nick Fury can go. The Marvel stuff, they just overproduce them, so I'm okay letting go of some of them. Eeyore can go. Uh, Cheshire Cat, that's a keeper, though. That one is awesome looking. Ah, uh, I do love the Fantastic Four. I'm just thinking, will I have regret? No, I, I can sell these. Price might go up because of the, uh, you know, when they do the movie, but... I think I can sell those. I'm not going to regret it, I don't think. Uh, Max can go. I've been selling most of my Stranger Things. Hopper can go. Okay, let me clear these. Okay, what do we have? We have, uh, oh, Jughead Jones from Riverdale. Uh, it's a pre-release sticker. What year? It's 2017. I think I'm going to keep that one. I think that one will be harder for me to get again. Uh Bloodhound Gang, that's a keeper. Infamous Iron Man, really, really cool looking one, but that one can go. Uh, the Raven Bart, that one's super cool too, but that can go. Uh, Jabberjaw, oh, that one's, I think I'm going to keep that one because it's the con sticker. That one will be harder for me to get again. Uh, Johnny Bravo, this one. Definitely has some value to it, but I think I can let that one go. I'm gonna double check though. If he's over 50, I'm gonna keep him though. Uh Envy Adams, limited 2,500 pieces. That's a keeper. That one's super cool. Uh free comic book day, Loki. Man, I do really like that Loki. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell him, but again, if he's over 50, I might end up keeping him. But I don't think he is. Uh Pickles, the spring series, I'm gonna keep that one. Ah, Yogi Bear. Oh, the flocked Yogi Bear. That is dope. That's a keeper. Okay, let me clear these. Okay, uh, Hammerhead. Uh, 2040. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. That's kind of a rare Star Wars one. Oh, that one can go already. Uh, let's see. We got 11 can go. Stranger Things, I'll probably end up trying to get the set again down the road. Uh, Dwight as Pam can go. 
Uh, but for now, I'm willing to sell the set because I think they're all common enough. Uh, Boba Fett in the cartoon version, that can go. The Stranger Things pops always felt like they're pretty common, so I'm not like too worried about those. So we got a uh, Corrupted Venom. That one can go. Okay, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good day in this. Uh, Speedy can go. Oh, I do love Nightcrawler. Man, he is dope. I, uh, I think I'm going to keep him. I think I'm going to keep that one. Nightcrawler is one of my favorite X-Men. And uh, Dudley do right the Canadian exclusive. I think I can get rid of that one. Again, though, if it's like over 50, I'll probably keep it. Okay, that box actually feels pretty good. I'm keeping less than half. 3, 6, 9, 10, 13. 13 out of 30 keepers. That actually feels like a really successful box. Okay, on to the next. Before we do another pop box, I figure we'll dig into this box from Japan. I'm actually really excited to dig into this. You guys know I love my Japanese boxes. I kind of wish Japanese hauls would do a lot better because I'd buy stuff from Japan probably on a weekly basis. I'd probably do one haul a week. <laughs> if you guys want to see where Japan hauls, just write Japan haul in the comments below. Just let me know or at least feed the algorithm so that I can do more of these because that would be a dream come true for me if I can afford a once a week Japanese haul. That would be awesome. Okay. So I use Buy E as my proxy service. I really like their service. They always do a great job. Wait, let me get rid of this flap right here. I end up paying the extra $10 or whatever to add the bubble wrap. So it just, it makes it extra secure and they always do such a good job packaging everything. And I think in this order, there is some ceramic stuff. So I'm a little bit nervous. But hopefully everything arrived perfectly. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, one little... Oh, a couple things wrapped up in newspaper and paper. Okay, I don't know if this is just extra padding or if there's something actually in here. Uh, this is just extra padding, I think. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's anything actually in there. Interesting. This is fun. This extra padding this person used, these are um, just paper that would have been around a piece of fruit. And then, I don't think there's anything in there. And then a newspaper. So that's fine. They just pulled this out of the package, but I don't think there's anything actually in these. Yeah, that's just a little extra padding from someone's order, but not my order. Okay, all right. Our first ceramic item. Ooh. Looks like it arrived in good shape, I think, I hope. This thing is awesome. I forget if I had a saucer or not. I think it did, actually. Oh, this looks so freaking cool, though. So it's a uh, little Ziggy mug. Just the graphics on this look amazing. It says love on the handle. A Gakin doesn't have a year. That is amazing. Okay, there should be a saucer to that, hopefully in here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, this feels... Oh, I think this is a diary in a box. Yep. Just make sure nothing's hiding. Oh, I gotta open it. Okay, so it says, uh, Ziggy Dictionary Diary. It looks almost like a Bible. I love the little graphic. It's like faux leather. And then it opens up and then it says, uh, Diary, hello, my name is Ziggy. I love the box. I've never seen the box. I might have this without the box. Uh, was it 50, 60, 76? Wow, so that's an early, that's the year I was born. So this is as old as I am. That is amazing. Very rare Ziggy item. Sweet. Uh, in the bag. Okay, it's just this fragile, 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 fragile. Don't know what's in here. Oh, I know what this is. This is our fun. It was not in the best condition. It was a little bit rusty, but I've never seen it before, so it's super rare. Just a really cool 
Ziggy Tin Can. What year does it say? It doesn't have a year. But it looks old. This is probably mid-70s. Just the way the graphics look and everything. Um, and just a tin cup. I don't know what it was for. Pencils, candles, candy or something. I have no idea. Uh, absolutely amazing though. Love that. Okay. Oh, this feels... This might be the sauce. Yeah, that's the saucer for the cup. There we go. So that's the bottom. Just says Gakin, so that goes together like that. I love this because it's a very, you know, it's like a really small teacup. Imagine like a Japanese tea ceremony. So it's a Ziggy cup, very Japanese type item. I love getting Ziggy items that are very relevant to the country they're coming from. Because you, I don't think I have any Ziggy teacups like that in the U.S. All right, this is really, really, really dope. It's not in the best of shape. Uh, it probably originally had some paper or something, but it's a little writing desk. And it doesn't have the pen either. But has the little Ziggy on there, which I don't know if this... It feels like... Yeah, it feels like it has a, like a spring or something. So I'm not sure if you can like spring load the paper into it. But that is really, really, really neat to me. I don't know if you guys like the Ziggy stuff. But when I see vintage Ziggy stuff like this, it just it's really exciting to me. Because it's something I had never seen before. And I've been hunting for Ziggy stuff for, oh, I don't know, 30 years, 40 years. Okay, this is a uh, fun, just a plastic bag. I think the seller had multiples for sale because I saw it listed again. Uh, but it's like a circular plastic vinyl bag with a rope. Let's see if I can make it. So it's, uh, Ziggy's getting squirted. It says, summer holiday... Let's enjoy summer holiday. That is super fun. I love old vinyl bags like that. Anything vinyl actually from the 70s. That is really, really amazing. Then it looks like I got a different, a second vinyl bag. Let's open that. Oh man, I love this. This is cute. It's like small-ish. Says the world's winning loser. Hello, my name is Ziggy. Welcome to my world. Uh... I mean, oh, and I love this little tag, too. What would this be? Would this be someone's just purse? But it's like a vinyl bag. It's weird. I almost feel like it's a beach bag, maybe. You know, put some flip-flops and some uh, suntan lotion in there or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a little card here. Okay, so this is just a fun little... Uh, there's three cards in here. Ziggy's underwater in a rowboat. Uh, it's in the original plastic, so it's a uh, Gatkin Victoria Fancy, probably from the late 70s. That is really, really neat. Love that. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Okay, this, uh, something, some of a nice little letter in Japanese. I can't read it. Obviously, I don't know Japanese, just very little, but uh, just because I don't know the language doesn't mean I don't absolutely love this stuff from Japan. says without you nothing makes sense 1978 i think this is just like a vinyl bag pull it out of here everything i order from japan always has like bags on it. it seems so nicely packaged i get stuff from the u.s and it's in like cereal boxes and crap <laughs> stuff in japan has like nice little notes and stuff uh yeah this is just a vinyl bag just like a square i don't even know what you would use that for it's a really like odd because it's not like a fold or anything it just a you know it's sealed on three sides i don't know i don't know what it is but ziggy so i wanted it very awesome okay this is oh we have a bunch of stuff in envelopes i think they end up putting a lot of things in envelopes as you buy it so I, that always adds a little protection Oh, this is just a couple of handkerchiefs, which I wasn't sure if I still had these. 
I don't have a bunch, but I wasn't as familiar with these. So sometimes I just grab stuff if I'm not 100% sure if I have or not. Because they were cheap. They uh, Right now, the yen was like $152 when I made the purchase. I don't know if it's strengthened or not. But 152 yen per dollar, everything feels like it's a third off. So I end up probably paying like $5 each on these. Something really cheap. Uh, super cute, though. See you, world. There's something I have to say to you that I could only say to my best friend. He's got like little flowers. That one I didn't recognize. So that one's super cute. And then this one felt like I wasn't sure on this one. Uh, oh, which way does it go? It goes this way, I think. Nope, it goes two different ways. Uh, these are super fun, though. In the U.S., 1977, in the U.S., they didn't make handkerchiefs. This, I guess, was just a very Japanese thing to sell handkerchiefs of characters like this. I don't know. I absolutely love them, though. I think they're adorable. Okay, we got this. This is us. Oh, I thought this was bigger, maybe? This seems small. Oh, yeah, no, I thought those, these were a little bit bigger. It's four or five little teeny mini Ziggy uh, notebooks with stickers. I thought these were bigger, like, a, you know, regular, maybe postcard size, greeting card size. Uh, they're right. It really is low zoom at the top, and it comes with, like, a little set of stickers. These are neat, though. Okay, I love that. With the little stickers on the back. Love is sharing. Every Ziggy needs a friend. Little I love the little stickers on the back. Hi, wishing star, how you been? Little stickers. On oh, I love the little um, Ziggy in the Easter Bunny suit. That was one of my favorite Ziggies as a kid. I had a little Easter Bunny Ziggy like that. Ziggy. Oh. <laughs> Fuzz finds gold. He's disappointed. Ziggy finds bones. He's disappointed. That's funny. A little, little uh, stickers again with the little Easter Bunny. Oh, man, these are super cute. I loved it. And these were cheap. I think it was like less than $20 for the whole set of them. Really happy with that. Okay, another item. Let me get that open. This is... Oh, this thing was super cool. I'd never seen this before. I uh, first... In my head, this might be a US release, but it might be a Japanese release because it says... 82 Ziggy New York. It's a tin can. Uh, no, but it's made in Japan with um, Japanese rice. So it is a Japanese item, but it's Japanese to make it feel like it's a U.S. item. So it's like a cool imported thing. And uh, what it is, is it's a little mirror, mirror and comb set. Where it has the, uh, you know, the taxi cab stripes on it. A little fuzz in the corner. And Ziggy's there. Wow, that is so freaking cool. That is so freaking cool. Man, I love that. That I was thrilled to get. Okay, then there's not one heavier item, but I'm not seeing it in here. Hopefully I got it. Okay, let's open this. Okay. Okay, it's just um Oh, I love the little metallic sticker on the back. But just a little envelope set, I guess. Cool. Love little stationary things like that. All right. I, I don't know. I had one mug that I don't know if it's in here or not. Okay, this was just a uh, keychain. Ziggy the Loser keychain for 1978. I love that. That is amazing. So cool. Just sometimes this little teeny stuff like this brings me so much joy. I have so many U.S. ones. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Okay, this feels like another small thing. Okay, let's see. We got... Uh, okay, there's just like a little sticker on here. Oh, another note in Japanese. I can't read it, but thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is funny. This is like a keychain nail clipper. Just like a utilitarian item from the 70s that you would have had like in your purse or something. Still clips, but it's a little ziggy keychain nail clipper. How freaking cool is that? I love that. That's amazing. Okay, 
This feels like more stationary. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, another nice note in Japanese. Can't read it, but thank you. I should translate all these notes just to see what people are saying. <laughs> They're saying like, oh, I have a ton more Ziggy stuff. Do you want it? Like I should probably know to read that because the answer is yes. Oh, okay. So we just have a, uh, this is, this is Loser's Day telephone list. So just like a little uh, telephone book. Okay, that is really cool. Love it. Another envelope. Okay. Uh, okay, this is an actual greeting card in Japanese, which is super dope. Oh, and another little thank you note. Everyone's so nice with these thank you notes and everything. Wow, I see, I love collecting Ziggy greeting cards. I have thousands of them, but I don't have a ton that are in Japanese. Uh, I don't know what, exactly what it says, but that is so freaking cool. 50, 78, 1978. Ziggy. I love that. And then there's some other, I don't know what this is, for some other cartoon or something. Uh, it looks super dope, though. I really like that. <laughs> but the main thing, I bought this lot for the Ziggy car. I probably paid like $5, maybe. I think that's super cool. Okay, I'm kind of hoping... The one item I was... Oh, this is it right here. Wow. Okay, I thought this was a lot bigger than it. <laughs> I'm like, where's the mug? But this is like a little dainty thing. I thought this was a lot bigger than this. But that's awesome. I love little teeny dainty things. <laughs> you know what? Having this is smaller than I thought it was actually makes it even more interesting to me. So is this little teeny... What's that? Like a sake mug? I feel like this is something you would drink sake out of. Ziggy World, Universal Press Syndicate, uh, 1979, Victoria Fancy Gakken. That I absolutely love. I have four or five different sized mugs and coffee cups and stuff with this blue ceramic. So it must have just been something that they're making a whole different set of them. Right? Someone tell me, does this feel like a sake? This feels like a sake mug. That is cool. Again, very Japanese thing. I, you know, I don't see mugs this shape and this size in the U.S., I love that. That's amazing. Okay, that was the item I was getting afraid I'd uh, be missing, but I got it, so I am happy. Just a single small item in the fun little uh, red heart bag. Everything is packed so nicely. Oh, another handkerchief. Okay, I do like these. I need to figure out which ones I have already. I probably have like 30 or 40 different. <laughs> I don't know if I remember this one. Ziggy's getting all tied up with the lawnmower. That one is super dope. I love it. Okay, let's see what we got. We got another envelope with some stationery. Oh, looks like another Ziggy greeting card. Yeah. So this was super dope. It's a Christmas Ziggy card. I don't know what it says, but I absolutely love it. And it's like in a, like a brown paper print. 1980. Wow, that is really, really, really dope. I love any, like a lot of the Ziggy stuff, like that diary and stuff is in English. I love the Japanese Ziggy items that are actually in Japanese. To me, that is amazing. Those are my favorite items. Okay, got another item. Okay, this feels like a uh, like a folder. Not folder. What do you call that? Just like a notebook, loose leaf paper holder. Uh, well, let me get that open. Okay, so it's this. Uh, Without you, nothing makes sense. Spiral binder. black but slightly translucent that is really really neat i love the color and it also had 
two uh, triangular pencils. Which it says, uh, I never met nobody that I didn't like. <laughs> With a little teeny ziggy print on it. Okay, that is really cool. I love collecting all the different pencils and pens and stuff. There's a lot of stationary stuff from Japan. I feel like there's a lot more ziggy stationary stuff from Japan than there was in the U.S. U.S. there's a lot more greeting cards, some stationary stuff, but not the big giant selection that Japan had. Okay, and then I think this is the final item. One more item. This is a random sticker set. Okay, wait, let me, let me just double check. Yeah, this box is done. Okay, so this looks like they added a little extra sticker set to it. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. I don't know if this was a commercially available item or like a promotional item, but it had a whole bunch of different US cartoon characters on it. Oh, and they're all stickers. So it just says, uh, Happy Xmas from Victoria Fancy. So I bet American Greetings Corp, Universal Press Syndicate, MGM, Gakken. This might have just been something that they like threw in a newspaper, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, but you got Ziggy, 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 Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, which I also love, Tom and Jerry, Ziggy. Not sure who that is, Tom and Jerry. This is really, really cool. Absolutely love that. It's got a little bit of foxy or something going on the top there, but. You know what? I'm thrilled to have it. That is amazing. That was an amazing selection of Ziggy stuff. I absolutely love everything. I especially love the items with the Japanese written on them. Those are so freaking cool. And always fun to add a few more bags to the collection. All right, back to another box. This says uh, Horror, Walking Dead, Mythic Monster. I don't think I'm going to be able to sell much in this box. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Hopefully, there's something in here I can get rid of. Uh, ooh. Well, yeah. You know what? Men in Black, I do love the Double Pops, but that one I can get rid of. Uh, that might be it, though. Okay, Dracula's a keeper. I love the Universal Monsters. Uh, Chubacabra is definitely a keeper. I love Mythical Monsters. Carrie's a keeper. I love John Carpenter horror movies. Uh, Trick or Treat Sam's a keeper. Yeah, I don't think there's much in here I'm going to be able to sell. Uh, Leatherface is a keeper. Uh, Michonne's Pet number two, that's a keeper. I love the Walking Dead ones. All right, let me move these to the side. Uh, Uncle Fester. I forget. I feel like I was selling some Adam's Family. I do really like the Adam's Family, though. Uh, ooh, Wednesday Adams, black and white. All right, I'm going to keep those. I sold some of my Adams family, and I kind of regret it. So I think I'm just going to keep those for now. Uh, Michonne's pet number one. That's awesome. Xenomorph, I have been selling these, but this is the specialty series one that's metallic blue. I'm going to keep that one because that one's amazing looking. Uh, Annabelle, I'm going to keep. The other Annabelle, I'm going to keep. Uh, the... Like, Bluish Wolfman, love that one. That's a keeper. The Rainbow Bigfoot, that's a keeper. Okay, let me move these. I feel myself not wanting to purge as much. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Uh, Bicycle Girl, love that. Awesome Zombie, that's a keeper. Uh, Loch Ness Monster, the Funko Shop exclusive, that's a keeper. The uh, Herman Munster and his, you know, biker gang outfit. That one's awesome. That's a keeper. Uh, Cousin It's a keeper. The Amazing Carlos, the awesome, uh, you know, Halloween color, limited 1,500 pieces. That's a keeper. I love the Funko Ween ones from 2016. Uh, ooh, Predator Chase 8-Bit. That, even though it's cool, I think I can let go of that one. Okay, we got another one. All right, it's better than nothing. We have uh, Walmart Chucky. That one I think I'm willing to get rid of too. Uh, Edgar from Men in Black. I think I can get rid of that one. Uh, Love of the Face Bloody Chase though. That's a keeper. That's a rare one. That one's expensive. Uh, Michonne's a keeper. Uncle Fester with the light bulb in his mouth is a keeper. Okay, let me move these. Okay, um... Frankenstein, where he's holding the flower. That's a keeper. I love that one. Uh, Abraham, that's a keeper. 
love that one. Uh, the mummy I'm going to keep. And we have, ooh, we have the uh, limited 350 pieces Freddy Funko Twisty the Clown. That is an amazing one. That's a keeper. That's a grail. Grail pop. Okay, only selling four from that box. Uh, but at least it's still some progress. It's just not as much as I would like. But all the other pops in that box were kind of amazing. So I'm not shocked I'm keeping so many. Okay, I put all the Ziggy stuff in this box. And it's the last box I could fit on the side here. All right, moving some keeper boxes into the corner here. All right, number two. All right, looks like I'm going to have a little bit of room on top of the boxes. I got to figure out what I want to put it up there once I get more of my keeper boxes on here. All right, one more keeper box. Let's 